Guys, welcome to another video. My name's Mark. I'm an entrepreneur and property investor. And in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different. Me and Nick, we're going to be discussing health, wealth, and happiness. And what is the right balance in life? Now, Nick, flip the camera around and make it so we're both in it, yeah? Nick, every, uh, say hello to everybody. Hi right, guys, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so, Nick is 21 years old and has definitely spent more money and time on your health yep. than wealth. And I am 38 years old, slightly overweight, and I've definitely spent more time on my wealth than I have on my health. So we're going to discuss you know, how we view it today and what is the correct balance? Because if I'm honest, I'd probably swap a bit of my wealth for a bit more health. And I've spent a lot of time working incredibly hard. It has brought me a lot of happiness doing that though. So if I'm honest, creating wealth has made me happy. Um, how, how, how are you feeling about your life so far, Nick? I know that's a very <laughs> deep question. I feel like I've dedicated too much time, I think, with health and not wealth. Really? So it'll be interesting to see the difference, I think, between me and you. Should we go in and uh, yeah, go into the whiteboard? Cool, guys, let's go into the whiteboard. So guys, welcome to the whiteboard. My name's Mark, as you know, this is Nick. Nick is our fantastic videographer for the channel. And we've just been having a bit of a laugh and going through exactly what we're gonna categorize this at. And we've got health, wealth, happiness, and wasted. And what we're gonna do is do a weekly rundown of how much time we've been spending in each category. Really, let's say over the last, how, how many years have you been working and living, um, sort of four years? Yeah, four years. Four yeah. years. So we're gonna do over the last four years, I guess. That would be a nice, easy thing to do. So we'll start off with health. So my regime for health has really been around, I go to the gym um, at the moment, obviously during lockdown, we've got the home gym, but probably three times a week for about half an hour each time. It's about an hour and a half. And then I go for an hour's walk a day, if you want to conclude that. So I'd say that that's five hours walking, probably an hour and a half, three and a half hours, four and a half hours, sorry. So I would say maybe I do 10 hours a week of health related kind of gym work or, or workout. Yeah. How about you? What, now? Or no, no, over the last four years. Uh, well, if you think about it, I was doing about six days a week um, and about an hour and a half at a time, so. That's just gym? Yeah. What about walking, other um, activities? Yeah, dog walking each morning, evening. So again. An hour each time? Yeah, about an hour. So what you reckon? <laughs> how many hours is that total a week? So you're looking about three and a half hours a day? Yeah. Would you say? Yeah, I think and so. And six days a week or seven days a week? Six. Six, six days, yeah. Six days a week, three and a half hours a day. Six threes. So Nick's been spending 21 hours a week on his health for the last four years, and that would be pretty accurate, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And what about wealth? Now, for me, this is probably gonna sound quite extreme, and this is just me being honest, okay? So I get up about five o'clock in the morning, um, and I work from five till, I would say about eight or nine, doing some emails, some stuff, when everybody else is asleep and, and, and not doing things. Um, I then will go for a walk, ironically, when everybody else gets into the office. So I would say I probably do four or five hours in the morning for wealth creation. Um, and then I also would do most Saturdays, um, almost every Sunday. I, I think I probably work something like 100 hours a week, I would think. Um, probably more, it's probably more. It, it might be more, it might be more. But uh, this isn't a hustle porn star style thing. This is yeah. just honest truth. This is roughly how many hours a week that I would work um, on creating wealth. And bear in mind, for me, this also falls into the happiness category. And I'm sure like this really doesn't, I don't really enjoy doing the gym at all. Um, I'm sure that does for you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, is that fair to say? Whereas for, for wealth, I, I really do class that as happiness as well. I'm, I'm very motivated by growth and by enjoying that sort of stuff. What about yourself in terms of wealth creation? What do, what do you think, how many hours, last four years on average? Much less than yours. I think maybe 25 to 30 hours. 25, 30 yeah. hours a week, something yeah. like that. So yeah. full-time job or part-time job most of the time? I think full-time, but yeah, 30 hours. I think. 30 hours, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's sort of seven hours a day? Yeah. Okay, and that's not unusual, that's not unusual. Um, and then in terms of happiness, nights out, things like that. I mean, I tend to do mine, uh, we, we try to go out. You've got to remember, I've got three kids under five, right? <laughs> like, so there is very little we can do in terms of going out for meals and things like that. We do have babysitters occasionally, but in terms of happiness, that's really around family time and at home. So I'm gonna sort of categorize that for me as probably we don't spend any time really going out, enjoying ourselves, partying, if that's what you want to call that. If it's holidays and stuff like that, we haven't been away for a couple of years at this point. I mean, COVID's disrupted everything, right? But if we said I on average would spend, I don't know, 
discounting the wealth time, which I definitely enjoy. If I was just doing the happiness, maybe a couple of hours a week. And I'm just gonna do my wasted time really quickly. Um, I don't think I waste any time, if I'm honest. I don't watch TV, really, apart from maybe to keep up with the news or to fall asleep or something like that. I don't really do any wasted time. As soon as I'm sat there doing nothing, I find something productive to do. Um, what about yourself? Happiness, going out, stuff like that over the last four years? Very high. Very high. Very high, yeah. As you, I think as you guys saw in the last video, my happiness is quite high, wasn't it? On yeah, spending, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, on spending, yes. Yeah. So happiness. Because mm. you went traveling, didn't you? you did yeah. Bali, Thailand. I yeah. mean, again, maybe this is because you're young. And maybe that's right. You know, I'm not saying what I'm doing is right by any stretch of the imagination. I don't believe it is. I don't think for most people this would be healthy. For me, it really is because this is also happiness. So you could almost put me as 102 hours of happiness, zero of wealth. It just so happens that those two correspond yeah. together really closely. Um, so we have to put some time in. What do you think in terms of happiness? Do you think it's at least half your time? Yeah. Yeah? And what about waste of time? Do you waste time? Have you, have you found yourself wasting time, really? I don't, I don't, well, yeah, I think, well, if you cast going out as wasting time... I would say that's well, happiness. Yeah, yeah, well then, no, I don't think I do waste no? time. No? TV? Computer games? No. No? No, no. none of that sort no of stuff? No PS4, no. No? So, so, because that time is what's taken yeah. by there. So we, we could easily say, in terms of happiness, in the last four years, on average, how often would you go out? For Met Arab, maybe three times a week. Three times a week? Yeah. The whole evening? Yeah. So yeah. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Really? Yeah. All the way through to like early in the hours in the morning yeah, sort like of thing? Yeah, three, four in the morning, yeah. So, so from five till four in the morning sort yeah, of thing? Yeah, about that. And then you're wasting time, surely, because you've then got yeah. a hangover. You yeah. must have. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, true. So then maybe 20 hours? 20 hours of happiness. And then wasting time on the back end of it, I guess, yeah. at least a couple of hours Over each time, room. right? <laughs> so 10, 10 hours of wastage there. Um, does that, are we equaling about the same here? 50, um, 60, 70, 80 hours you've got in here, and I've got about 110. Yeah. Um, one, one, oh. Let's have a quick look and see how many hours there are in a day when you're awoken, because I don't, I don't actually know that, do you? No. <laughs> so I get up about 5 o'clock in the morning and I go to bed about 10 o'clock at night. So my awaking day is... I have 17 hours awake a day. Times that by 7. That would give me 119 hours of awake time. Um, and I'm sort of allocating about 110 hours of it. So I'd say that's pretty accurate for me. Um, and I'm pretty in tune with where I am in terms of how I spend my time. How about yourself? Um, what time do you go to bed? What time do you wake up? Uh, wake up at six. Wake up at six? I go to bed at half ten. Right, okay. So, so not too far off. No, 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 not far off at all. So Nick actually has a few less awake hours than me. He has 115.5 hours a week, and you've only allocated about 80. Um, nowadays, you're working harder though, aren't you? Yeah. We, can, we, can we say that? Like, Definitely. how many hours do you think you're doing now at work? It's, it's um, far more, right? So you're doing full time with me. Yeah. Um, which is probably at least 40 hours a week. Yep. You've also got a part-time job and some other bits going on and some freelancing yeah. stuff. It's so probably closer to 60 now, isn't it? I think 70 or 72. Really? As much as that? Yeah. Wow. 72 hours, I think. 70 hours a week yeah. of, of, of working time. And to be fair, would it be fair to say that happiness also comes into work? Yeah. You enjoy what you do, yeah, right? Yeah. It's not like it's you're not... stacking shelves or doing yeah, something yeah. you don't enjoy. Definitely. Right? That, 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 I think, is key, right? It allows you to do these big hours. It allows you to make these big achievements yeah. because you're loving what you're doing. Jim, are you still doing 21 hours a week? No. No. Right. Because right you down. can't do 21 yeah. hours of gym and 70 hours of work, yeah. can you? And this is the thing, guys. This is the health, wealth, and happiness kind of conundrum is how do we achieve this sort of balance? Um, and for me, I don't think I'm balanced well, to be honest. I think that I should be spending more time on my health. I think that you know, I'm in my late 30s, um, I'm a little bit overweight, and I have started being more conscious of that. And I'm gonna make a big effort, I'm gonna make a commitment here on this channel, and I will show you, I'm currently 85 kilos. I'll show you in one month that I'll be under 80 kilos. So I'll lose five kilos in a month from today. Um, just to try and get my health level up a little bit. And if that means losing a little bit of time on making money and, and creating content and doing all that, fine, I will. I'll make sure that I get this health bit sorted. Um, my happiness, I don't think it's fair me putting two hours there, because I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I'm enjoying yeah. filming this with you guys. I'm enjoying creating. I'm enjoying all the stuff that I'm doing. So 
I, I don't feel like my happiness is actually low down at all. I spend time with the kids. I put my children to bed every night. I make sure that I'm there to read a story. So I, I try and make as much family time as I possibly can. And that's probably where that two, three hours is. Um, wasted time, I'm very, very proud of the fact that I just don't really waste much time. But maybe I should, maybe I should chill out and just waste a bit of time. I don't know, maybe <laughs> that would be healthy. Let me know in the comments if you think that's healthy to just waste a bit of time. Um, what about you, Nick? Have you got any commitments of what you're going to do? And, and let me just put down, my net worth at 38 is in the millions and it's several million. I, I, I don't know, I would say three million to five million, depending on how you value my businesses. Yeah. Um, you're 21, obviously, Nick. Yeah. Your net worth we calculated at minus 3,500. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but probably quite representative of the lifestyle that you've been living. Yeah. You know, it's fair to say, right? Um, what's your new targets? What are you going to commit to? And, and we didn't say we were going to do this, did we? Yeah. <laughs> so I put you on the spot. On the spot a bit. <laughs> I think I think I definitely I think over the next couple of years, obviously, especially since I've got a baby coming, I think I will dedicate more time to my wealth. Well, um, you already are. Yeah. You already so are. That I think it's going to stay the same to us. My health will probably, you know it's going to be right down still but you know happiness is still with wealth so i think as long as you know we've got that i think it's something you know to keep and you have to have a good level of health don't you yeah. I, th I think i think i think that's really important is to make sure we keep a good level of health just maybe 21 hours a week it's was a, a lot yeah. and, and i think there's probably more because there's resting there's prepping yeah. you were basically treating it as a job right yeah it was a full-time job to make sure your health was as high as possible so guys what's your commitment but what are we going to turn this into in the next couple of months because um, I know that you're working on it. I know yeah. that you're going to have a, a positive net worth in a month or two. Yeah, well, definitely. I've, well, I want this gone. So yeah. Nick is going to create from his minus position in a couple of months a positive net worth. Yeah. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think your percentages are when it comes to health, wealth and happiness. And, and wasted time as well. I would love to know. And maybe it's a really good idea for us to all audit our lives in something like this every so often. Just see if we're off track whilst life is so, so busy. But guys, I've enjoyed putting this video together. I hope you have as well, Nick. It's been awesome. Yeah, awesome. We'll see you again next week. This has been Friday. We are just about to move the studio to Newbury. So we will be moving all of this as soon as we finish recording this. And we will see you again on Monday. Cheers, guys. <laughs>